Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be making some food in a crock pot with stuff that we have and stuff that we were given by Chevy Man and Homestead Tessie. Um, I don't know if I'll call it soup. While you could make it into a soup, it's... I, I guess it's a kind of soup, but I use what I have and I'm going to show you guys step by step and you can do what I do or not, but I just kind of wing it um, and what that means is I just eye everything, I eyeball everything, I put in what I think is going to be good um, I've been doing this, I probably made this same setup probably 30 times by now and everybody always asks me make a video so here I am I'm making a video so let's stop talking and let's just jump right into it so some things that I use and you, you can use this you don't have to use this potatoes carrots onions I then use cut up chicken you can use beef pork whatever you want to put in here it works um, but we have chicken on hand so frozen chicken is going to go inside the crock pot now the mix of stuff that I use again you do not have to do this so I use some lemon pepper brown sugar salt I use just one thing of uh, broth and chicken, beef, whatever, doesn't really matter, um, whatever you have, and also noodles. So the one thing of broth that I use, I then top everything off with water. So I'll cut everything, put everything in here, the carrots and everything. I'll put the one broth in here, let it heat up a while, while I'm cutting everything up, and then... I will see how much room I have and then I'll add water after but if you want uh, it more soup like just add less carrots potatoes less of that stuff and more water or broth but for me again I use just one thing of broth and then I fill the rest with water okay let's go ahead and add our broth again like I said you can use turkey chicken, bone, beef, whatever. I mean some people picky but I, I'm not too picky. So I'm not using near this amount of onions, I just wanted to cut some up um, for other use, probably dehydrate some, um, but uh, we're going to use just a little bit just for flavoring. Remember to do what you think would be good, um, add a certain amount that you feel would be right. For us, that's about enough onions. Definitely plenty. Now, some of you guys may would probably rather cut them all up, even smaller. That's your choice. Um, like I said, I eyeball everything, and it turns out amazing. All right, we might add more chicken. We'll have to see in a little bit here. You know what, while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and add, now this is lemon pepper, but it's also a seasoning mix of herbs that I've done, so it's not all lemon pepper.
and the salt is for when we add a lot of water it's going to really drown the flavor but I like to put salt in this stuff in a while so it actually cooks into the meat and everything Thicker the noodles, the better. So you could use thinner ones, but kind of that thickness. I may add more, we shall see. All right, on to the next. All right, so we're going to do the potatoes now. We have to pick out the nasty ones from the good ones and I just cut it completely um, I don't go as thin you know on the skin layer as some probably would like I said I just do the, everything by eyeing everything up and be careful if you're using a knife there's always that chance that you can cut yourself so um, I do recommend wearing knife gloves they're gloves that protect yourself from cutting. I have a pair, but I'm very confident in my ability for potatoes. Um, but you know, there's always that chance. Now, how small you cut your potatoes, you know, you can do it this way, where you just kind of slice them in. Just be careful. You could put a whole potatoes. You could, I mean, you could cut them in halves like that. I like to do different sizes, so sometimes I'll put really big chunks in, and sometimes I'll do smaller pieces. By the way, um, to know when it's done, you go by the carrots and the potatoes. So basically when the carrots and potatoes melt in your mouth, then you know everything is done. And I like to start before 10 a.m. because it will, it probably will take you on high all day until, I don't know, maybe five. Well, it, it, well, it depends how much water you have, how much food's in there. So I'm going to say if you start at 10 a.m., it could take you anywhere from 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m or 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Um, it, like I said, it all depends on what you have in the crock pot and your crock pot and settings. But what I do is I like to start at, at 9.45, around 9.45 p.m., 10 o'clock, and I set it on high and I watch it, I would say every three hours I check on it and stir it. I know you're not supposed to uh, open the lid, but I do every three, about every three hours. Sometimes a little uh, less than that. You know, if I'm, if it's like three o'clock, I'll open it more just to keep checking on it. But a good rule of thumb is about three hours just to check on it, stir everything up. And like I said, when the potatoes and the carrots basically melt in your mouth, you know it's done. Now some people like their carrots harder, you know, I like my carrots soft and melt in your mouth. If you like your carrots or potatoes harder, then by all means, it will be done sooner. So it's going to be to whatever your taste is, whatever you like. Um, so just keep that in mind.
All right, so now I will do the carrots and I will wash the carrots as well. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. So before we get too far along here, we're now going to go bring the potatoes and carrots and we're going to put it in here. So what I did with the carrots and potatoes, I drained the water that was in there and now I'm filling more water up because we need more water in the crock pot. So the water that you saw me putting the carrots and potatoes in, in the bowl, that water is gone and I put fresh water then. So now we have fresh water to go in here. All right, now we can see where we're at. So we can see how much more water we need. So obviously we need a little more water. Um, more water means more soup-like. Less water means less soup-like. <laughs> so we want more water because it's a good rule of thumb. You want the water to cover all of the food in the crock pot. So as the food heats up and over the hours and hours the water will evaporate some and like I said it's a good rule of thumb. For me I put the water as almost as full as I can right at the top of the first rim. Um, that way, yeah, we can actually add a little more. We're gonna add a little more chicken, I think, and then we're going to probably call it a day because once we add the chicken, it's gonna push the water line up pretty high. All right. So, as you can see, I like to make everything as full as possible. And I'll show you up close the water line. All right, so you can see the water line there, and it's right at that first rim. So, this is what I do for all of mine. Now, once I put the lid on here, we put it on soft. Some people clamp it down. I do not do that. I uh, just set the lid on. I've never had any like spilling out issues or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all I do. I'll show you guys when it's done. All right. All right, we are done. And it's delicious if you guys want more of these videos please hit that like button also subscribe to my channel and of course you have to leave a comment letting me know what's your favorite crock pot meal leave a comment see you guys on the next video hey guys I wanted to stop and take a very quick break and ask if you guys could hit that like button on this video and also subscribe to my channel that would mean a lot to me it is very hard to grow these days and if you could do that that would mean so much to me I really do appreciate it